Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. This is episode uh, 28, I think, of my Insanity Engineer series. So this time around, we are going to some planet somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> um, and we are showcasing the Prothean for the first time. Jarek, Commander Jarek. So his abilities, along with this new particle rifle, this assault rifle. So, Jarek has essentially a plague ability. You cast a dot on one enemy, and if he dies while the dot is up, it will go to the next ability. Pretty cool, pretty interesting. And he has Slam, Miranda's unique ability from Mass Effect 2, beyond also having Lift Grenade and a passive and pull. All in all, solid party member. I prefer Stasis, but Plague is cool. It's green biotics, essentially. And the particle rifle shoot, and you'll see, shoots out a. It doesn't use it. It does and doesn't use ammo. It's kind of a hybrid thing. It has a hundred ammo. The longer you hold down the button and you shoot the beam, the more damage it does. And once it hits zero ammo, it overheats and it takes longer for the ammo to recharge for a brief period. So either you can focus the beam for a long period of time and do more damage, or you can do more controlled bursts, you know, bursts with quote fingers, to maintain your ammo capacity greater. I tend to just uh, shoot it until I run out of ammo, or rather, until I kill somebody. If I run out of ammo in that process, then I switch to another weapon. But generally, I will just shoot it until I kill somebody, unless I know they're not going to die. You'll see. You'll see in the video. So just specking up Dark Channel. How ominous. Putting a point in slam. I had not used the abilities yet, so I'm just now starting to try them out and everything. Maxed out. Dark Channel. I had used slam before, so I didn't have huge expectations. I hope it does more damage. It does. I hoped at the time, and it does. I am now just making sure that group incendiary ammo is up. Just showing off the planet. And there we go, there's a quick demonstration of the particle rifle. Wish I knew what planet we were on. Benning. Benning, that's the planet. Benning, it's another human world. So I hear gunfire. Trying to find where we're supposed to go. This was a really hard world, I have to say. Nowhere near as hard as some of the other sequences I've complained about, but definitely hard. I had a number of deaths on this one. Some that I'm not going to show you, actually, just because it uh, will just be boring. Some of them were just rage deaths of, screw you guys when you charge it with a shotgun, Rah! and then die. I do that sometimes. I'm very mature. So... This assault rifle is... It's more like... I don't want to say it's more like a sniper rifle, because it's not scoped or anything, though there are assault rifle scopes, I think. But it, it has pretty much an assault rifle range. Also, if you just saw, when enemies die from this, they get gooified, kind of like plasma deaths in fall the Fallout universe. Very cool, in my opinion. Makes me want to use it. Probably not going to use it, but makes me want to use it. Now, don't get me wrong, it's very effective, but really not suited to my playstyle at all. Especially on Insanity. It's a, it's a difficult weapon to use on Insanity because you do need to be exposed from cover for long periods of time. It's like charging up a spike thrower or a chakram launcher projectile or the Geth Plasma Shotgun projectile before before shooting, but you can do that just behind a corner or something, whereas with this weapon, you need it to be on a target to do damage, so you just have to be exposed for long periods of time, and it just makes it very risky. It's very cool, there's a lot of flavor to this weapon, it's very unique, certainly, and very fun, and again, it's another weapon that I think a ton of players will like, and died from a turret. Just sabotage it, I just freaking sabotage that turret, and then it shoots me. Starting to hate sabotage. Those deaths really suck, and enrage me more than anything in the world. Just sabotaged it, so I should be able to shoot some stuff without worrying about it, but no. So, great. Awesome. Fantabulous. But let's move on. Nerd Rage! Trying to heal. This video, again, will be broken into two parts. The next episode will continue it along. I haven't really been saying part one or part two in the titles of any of these things. 
And I don't think I'm going to, just because it kind of makes it a little confusing. But I thought I should let you know. And I usually do in the comments anyway. In the description, I should say. So yes, this mission was difficult. It... There's just a lot of enemies. There's a lot of enemies, and this place is so incredibly open that they can attack you from pretty much anywhere. It's really important, and I found it to be really important, to position your party members so that they cover entrances, so that you know when enemies are coming. And James with the Revenant is actually very effective at just taking out the random grunt that might pop through a doorway at short range in this urban sort of setting. This room-to-room... -room these room-to-room -room fights. So, as you can see, this weapon has a very long range, as long as you can keep the laser on a target, and it actually... When enemies are hit by it for a period of time, it knocks them back and makes them flinch. They react as if they're on fire, in fact. So, it isn't really that difficult to keep it on a target for long periods of time when they're reduced to their red bar. That was me enraged for some reason. I forget why. Rage! And I am, of course, just... I have been using this powers this whole time. I have been using Sabotage on this turret repeatedly. But I'm forgetting to use my party member stuff. I'm forgetting to use Dark Channel just completely. I will be using it... ...in a moment. But I'm just not thinking to... Do oh yeah, and I... Did I? What happened? Did I die already? Oh yeah, I died from the turret. Yeah, so I died and I had to... re... spec these abilities because I didn't save after I did so. And I have to move back on my bar. Wow, I have just a phenomenal memory. Considering that happened all three minutes ago. It all sorts of runs, sort of runs together when you've done this stuff and then you're re-watching this stuff and then you're trying to comment on it and it's, it's weird. Alright, so now we're finally out of this hole. Time to move on to the next one. So guys, let me know if you really want to see particular weapon gameplay. Because, I don't know. I have an idea of what you might like to see, but I don't know. And I can use anything. I mean, I really don't have an issue with any particular weapon. The only weapon that I really didn't care for is the katana shotgun. I prefer the scimitar over that. But, worst comes to worst, I can use the katana. I don't think that you guys are going to care about the katana. <laughs> Considering that you could use it last game, and it's just the generic shotgun of the game, but... All in all, I can use anything. Pretty much any loadout, unless it just completely cripples my ability to use powers. Though right now... This... Combination did particularly weigh on my powers. I have like a 50% penalty right now, because the... Particle Rifle has a pretty... It's pretty heavy, and I'm also using a shotgun, which is pretty heavy. But I get by okay. So we're gonna have, I think, another death, and we're actually going to just finish this video with a death, and then we'll conclude this mission in our next video. My next video. As you can see, when the particle rifle does run completely out of ammo, it does have a pretty long cooldown until it starts again. Because of it overheats. Cool, though. Really cool effect. I love unique weapons. They've done a great job with weapons in this game overall. There's some that are more that you would expect, and then there's some really unique ones. And they're just going to add more with the... Didn't mean to do that. Meant to use drone. They're just going to add more through DLC and, and maybe some free ones or whatever as time goes on as well, I'm sure. It's a great way for them to make more money, if nothing else. So there, I think, is our first example of Dark Channel. It's just a dot. It's a dot. It's a green dot that is good against barriers because it's biotic, and good against armor because it's biotic, and also... If an enemy dies while well, it's on them, it'll spread it to the next enemy. It also slows enemies. I expect it into slowing enemies. I didn't like that guy. So, I just switched my shotgun to go into this room. I felt safer with the shotgun. This weapon does still operate at short ranges. But I know that the shotgun will stagger enemies when I hit them with it. This thing, I'm not sure how long it takes. 
I'm going to die in a moment. I just get completely outflanked in this area. This room is very dangerous. This whole area is very dangerous. This is actually, the, believe it or not, the last area of this level. This one fight is the last fight of this level, yet I have an entire, going to have an entire video dedicated to it. So yes, I'm about to die from this guy. I just can't take him down. His shield prevents him from being staggered. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching, and have a good one.